Welcome back everybody, Level in Diecast bringing you a haul video today. You already see where it came from. You guys know this is kind of like my go-to for my premium hauls. Um, I can be frank with you guys, the shipping time is getting a little out of control. Um, it's taken over a week to get from California to Colorado. It's a little ridiculous, um, but its I don't necessarily think it's them. I think it's FedEx. So uh, FedEx, you guys are watching. You guys are getting a little ridiculous. Uh, so we're just going to get right into this. Of course, we always have our OSHA approved blade because safety first, right? So get this guy sliced. You guys know we got our fancy packs in here. This box is a little bit weird stacked this time. So it's going to be a little interesting to get these packs out of here. Um, there is some uniformity to it. Looks actually looks kind of decent. Not too bad. Looks like we got some some filler. Oh nope, that's not a filler. That's that's an item. That's an item. We don't throw that away. Of course, as always, ten percent off your next order. Those guys are pretty good at hooking you up. Come back, so we'll get the packs out. There's going to be Mini GT, there's going to be Greenlight, there's going to be Tarmac, there's going to be something brand new in here, and there's going to be something um, different. Uh, I wouldn't say brand new, but different for sure. So get those out of there, get the box out the way, get our packs moved back. That's how we roll here. I'd like to bring this to you guys. Fresh, freshy fresh. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start with the pack, this pack in particular. All right. <clears throat> Get our blade going here. Get this guy cut open. Unroll, unroll, unroll. So there we go. This is the newest Tarmac Works. Pagani, looking pretty good. The Pagani Zonda Sneak Sink. Not exactly sure how you pronounce that. Uh, this guy does have a opening hood though, so pretty excited for that. It's pretty cool. Um, you guys know I I have had the uh, Zonda R and the uh, the Wyra BC. I did kind of some freestyle videos for those, but uh, this one I'll do a a real unboxing for since he's got an opening part. So it'll be pretty exciting. Um, sorry, lost, lost my blade. Cutting open the next pack here. This one takes a little bit of space. Green light trade show exclusive 2022. This is the 86 Chevrolet S10. Um, I am working on, you know, just collecting all versions of the Sonoma and the S10 casting. So obviously this guy, you got to get it online. Um, unless you were at the trade show. Uh, looks pretty good though. Looks really good. Can't wait to crack this guy open. It's pretty nice. It looks a lot better, actually, than uh, than I thought. So it's pretty nice. Uh, this one is going to be a little interesting. Um, so this is going to be the only hitch and toe you find here. Now, I do have all of Series 23, uh, but I got the rest from my Hobby Lobby. I was unable to find this guy. Um, so I ended up just pulling the trigger with this haul and picking it up. So I do have a series 23. Now the release on this was really jacked up. Uh, there was like one model released at a time and then they finally came out with the rest of them. So there are the other ones in the set. I do have that whole set. So we will definitely unbox that set, uh, probably sooner than later for sure. So I'm pretty happy with that. Rolling through with our next pack. This one's going to have something uh, not new to the channel, but something definitely different. So this is the... I guess there's no card art on the outside. This is the Ford GT box set. This is the uh, four-car set from Mini GT. Kind of interesting. It's just a plain outer box. Um... Very weird, very weird. So uh, I guess and there's not really anything to show you guys right now, but uh, I will do an unboxing for that. It's kind of 
kind of a odd. I didn't expect that. I expected, you know, a display box or something. Um, <clears throat> so this is something brand new. This is American Diorama. These are Motomania 164 scale with these motorcycles. Uh, I picked these up because this looks pretty cool. Looks cool for display purposes. Um, I kind of was curious on how the bikes and stuff would look. They look pretty, pretty damn good. Not going to lie. So pretty excited to get these open. I'm not sure how I'll do this, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll pull them out on the channel for sure and take a look at them. Uh, being at their die cast metal, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So you can set them up on the bike just like that, which is pretty sweet. So the bikes are more than likely not going to do anything. They just sit there. They're, they're specifically for diorama purposes. So that'd be pretty cool. Uh, keep on rolling. Let's not slow down here. We've got a lot of stuff to get through. We're going to have quite a bit of Mini GT in here. This is the newest stuff that just dropped. The LB Works Huracan in matte gray. Looking ridiculously good. Uh, this is number 258. Looking really, really good. Really like all the deets on the side of that. Looks pretty amazing. Looks pretty amazing. Uh, another one here. This is one that uh, a lot of fanboys out there, I'm going to call them, because Mustang guys are fanboys. They they are. Uh, this is number 268. This is the Shelby GT500. Um, really didn't need another person to make a uh, Mustang, but I guess if you were going to have somebody do it, uh, Mini GT was definitely the one to do it. This looks pretty good in the package. Uh, I'll crack it open for sure. But, uh, you know, I feel like the Mustang's a little bit beneath what Mini GT normally does. Uh, but that's just my personal opinion here at Level M. Not knocking the Mustang guys. It's just, you know, there's a lot of Mustangs out there. Rolling through another Supra. This one, the Liquid Molly. Uh, GR Supra looks pretty good. Number 290. Um, this one's a little bit more subtle. I do like the deco. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So we'll crack that guy open for sure. Tons and tons of Liberty Walks, of course. Speaking of Liberty Walks, rolling through continuously. Another GTR. This is number 291. Does have some advent on the side. This is matte black. But it has that wicked cool wing on the back. Does have Nissan printed on it? Looks pretty good, pretty good. So, yes, another another GTR, but this one does look pretty good. But you know, it is another GTR. Man, Mini GT be beating those to the ground. The Supra is the next GTR, man. They're beating that freaking cast into the ground. Um, this one is pretty freaking nice. This is the Ford GTLM number 269 in Golf Racing Deco. Look at that guy. Looks absolutely ridiculous. I love the gold or the uh, orange wing on the back. It says Golf on it. Looks pretty, pretty good. It's going to be a pretty nice model to unbox for sure. Pretty excited about that one. Pretty excited about that one. Uh, brand new casting from Mini GT. This is the Honda. S2000 CR. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty happy that uh, you know they continue to come out with some new castings instead of just new colors on existing ones. This one looks pretty good. Pretty good. Number 282. So it's interesting. It's in yellow. It does have convertible top though. It's a not a common thing that they do, but uh, they got Miatas and stuff coming. So there are plenty of convertibles coming from good old Mini GT. Keeping it rolling. Going to get into some green light. This is the newest version of Hobby Shop Series 12. 2001 Jeep Cherokee Sport Mopar Off-Road uh, with the Stig. No, I'm just kidding. This is the race driver. It's not the Stig. Uh, this guy looks pretty good, though. Looks pretty good. Love everything decoed up with Mopar. Looking pretty nice. Uh, Series 12, these are the ones on the back. Uh, Patrol, uh, Sonoma, and Cherokee Sport, and Gladiator Rubicon. Eh, maybe the Gladiator. I uh, don't remember. I think those are the four that I particularly collect here at Level M. So starting off with that guy. We do have another one here. There we go. 2020 Rubicon. 
uh, I'm sorry, the Gladiator Rubicon does have the 2000 Indian Scout bobber bike in there. Man, that looks good. Look at that bike. Holy cow. That bike looks way better than any of the other ones they've previously done. That thing looks wicked. Wicked. Now, what I don't understand, the tailgate does not open on this. Okay? So this guy just comes with a stand for the wheel. You can't put it in the back. It's too big. There's, there's, you literally can't put it in the back of the Jeep. So is this just meant to be like uh, accessory uh, and really not have anything to do with the Jeep? I don't know. I don't know. But we'll crack it open, though. We're going to look at that guy for sure. For sure. Rolling through. I don't think I have any, like, giant things in here. Um, but we'll see. Got a couple of estate wagons. I actually forgot I ordered these. I forgot that these were available. Huh. All right. All right. Well, that's a good thing. Uh, 68 Plymouth Satellite. This is the newest series. Series 7. Uh, looking amazing. Does come with a tow hitch. Got those nice uh, Krager wheels. Got a red stripe on the tires. Looks pretty good. Some deco on the side says GTX. Looks pretty good. It's like a GTX uh, tribute. There are the other models in the mix. 84 Ford Crown Victoria. Ridiculous. Ridiculous vehicle. Giant. Uh, this one is the best one, though. Uh, in this green with black hood. Looking ridiculous. I'm sure there's going to be a 446 pack or something underneath the hood. We will open that up at some point very, very soon and check that out. This guy also comes with a tow hitch as well. Uh, looks like the tow hitches are primer. Um, or maybe even plastic. Maybe even plastic. That would be that would be unfortunate. But this guy looks really, really good. I feel, he, I feel like the original like picture from Greenlight that was like, hey, this is coming in Series 7 was like, it feels like it was like a year ago that I first saw it, and it just finally have it in hand because uh, it just finally dropped. I don't, I'm not really sure. Not really sure. Uh, rolling through, we just got this plus one more pack. See what else we got rolling in here. Another one from the hobby shop, Green Light. This is the Nissan Patrol in red with tan top. Comes with a backpacker. No tow hitch on this guy. That completely missed the number. Completely missed the number. Interesting. We'll take a look at that one and crack them open. It looks pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, another one from the hobby shop. This should be the last one of this particular mix. 91 GMC Sonoma ST with vintage Pennzoil gas pump. That looks pretty cool. Gas pump looks pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Of course, the Sonoma looks pretty good as well. It's kind of like the um, kind of like the street version of that uh, that uh, pace car truck that I still need to unbox. Uh, I haven't forgot. I just uh, I got a little behind in my unboxings. Uh, rolling through here, this is the last pack of this particular haul. Looks like it's going to have a couple mini GTs. Uh, this is number two ninety five. This is the uh, R thirty two GTR. And red pearl with the BBS wheels does have black hood on it. Been a little bit since they released an R32, uh, but just another color, just another color. Nothing, nothing fancy, nothing fancy. Not like it's an R33 or anything. Um, and then of course we're gonna end here. This is the GR Supra because of course, and it's in Pandem livery with the iconic orange and black type of deco now that's been made famous by Fast and Furious. But this looks pretty good. I really like this one. This is uh, actually pretty pretty toned down. Pretty nice. Does say Pandem on the wing. So number 294. So not too bad. Not too bad. So just a real recap real quick. We'll see what we got. Looks like we got about ooh, maybe five or six mini GTs. Got five mini GTs there. Six, seven. Oh, wow. Eight. Wow. Okay. Eight mini GTs plus we got the GT box pack here uh we got four models from hobby shop those are the only four uh castings that we collect here at level m so got those guys got the two castings from estate wagons that we collect because mopar nation baby um and then we got of course the hobby exclusive trade show exclusive i should say 
um, S10, picked up this guy, the hitch and toe, so that I can complete that set, do the unboxing. Got the cool little American Diorama bike set, and then in and it out with the cool tarmac uh, Pagani. So there we go. See if that'll stay on there. So there we go, guys. That is the current haul. Obviously, you guys know how we roll here. This stuff will be unboxed for sure. Um, I'm a little bit far behind from the last haul I got. But um, I'll give you guys a little hint. Uh, Hitch and Toe 23, that is going to be first for sure. Um, I'm going to get that done because that's kind of been in the making for a little bit. The rest of the stuff is pretty new. And uh, we're going to get caught back up and expect that stuff on the channel. Appreciate you guys. And, uh, you know, don't forget to subscribe. Come back, see more content from what we just saw. And as always... I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Level M saying, Peace!